Hello, so I have some thoughts on A Court of Wings and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, wings as in W I N G S, not R. I just cannot say the W correctly, like wings, like I cannot say it without saying like wings, like going on your fingers. So, yeah, but anyways. When I, when Feyre, Nesta, Nesta, and Elaine's dad, like, all, like, uh, when Feyre, Nesta, and Elaine's dad, like, in the battle against, um, the King of Highborn, when he basically, he basically names, like, three boats after them, and I'm just like, when I heard that, I don't, I just found it heartwarming, like, I just, it was it was a kind of wholesome element that I feel like I didn't expect that I didn't expect it but I felt like it was needed to find out. And also when Nesta like sort of kills um the King of Highborn, he deserved it. He deserved it. If you think he doesn't, um we can't be friends. We we cannot be in the same city because there's no good reason why the King of Highburn is like a good character besides being a villain. Like there's no other good reason. Like you can't like justify him if you like. Um, yeah. Also, just seeing because like in last book we were like I was being excited for Feyre <laughs> Feyre basically bringing down Tamlin's empire because of just like everything I feel like how it was written so that there are repercussions for the action was just a very good just because I didn't think there would be but I feel like like, when there was consequences for, like, oh, now that you guys are going to, like, you know, fight the King of Highborn, Tamlin and his, like, empire, like, his army and stuff, probably won't help because they won't trust Tamlin. And I was just, like, that, that was, that needed to be there. That needed to be there. And also, seeing Feywa use her power to, like, basically get Ianfi to, like, harm herself, I mean, I don't like Ianfi, but it got to a point where it was unnecessary, I feel like. And just... Yeah. I... Okay, this I don't know if I'm gonna cut it out, but I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know. There was something circulating around TikTok, like a, an apparent like, book ban list with... I'm in the US, so if you've seen the election, you had that. But I haven't found anything official confirming that. So I don't know, but I saw I'll put the disclaimer here that any thoughts I have on the series, because there's one more, I am going to do um, Frosting Starlight soon. I'm going to make sure that's the name. Yeah, Court of Frost and Starlight, that's the next one. I am going to do that one soon. I'm just putting a big gap. But, like, yeah, like, any thoughts I have after kind of... I'm listening to a book, like, I'm trying to listen to a book before fully, like, the whole presidential thing. Because that's... This series is the only one I see myself being able to do, kind of, and I only have Silver Flames to read, so, or listen to, so, hopefully I can get it done before January, like, 20th, hopefully, but, um, yeah, I don't know, as of recording this, I don't know, this, everything in terms of book bands has been speculated, but I just, as a person who's read not all of project 20, 25 but like some of it it's terrifying that's all i'm gonna say in general but like 
yeah i just don't know so hopefully i don't know what i don't know what's gonna happen but i'm hoping for the best trying to be optimistic and trying not to die inside but like yeah i i will go more in depth on my thoughts on a quarter of boston starlight but if anyone's still listening or like watching to this point i definitely enjoyed that book and i honestly am considering getting a physical copy at least of that book because it's just i enjoyed reading it and listening to it well listening to it i use read and listen interchangeably so yeah but um i'll leave a link to just everything in the description like from libby to where where you can find um this book or the series in general just in the description and just yeah have a good i i just have a good like finals if you're in college and just a good december so yeah